is getting a major upgrade with truly impressive AI features and tools. I'll go over everything you need to know about Windows 11 and AI integration in this video. From the new Windows Copilot on X Runtime and the redesigned AI Microsoft Store to new developer tools for creating AI powered applications and the newest features in Microsoft Paint. But first, make sure you enjoy this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more fantastic material. Let's get this party started. Microsoft has long invested in AI via its Azure Cloud platform, Bing Search Engine, and Edge Browser. However, with Windows 11, Microsoft is bringing AI to the next level, as it will be the first PC platform to reveal centralized AI support to help users simply take action and get things done. They made this statement at Microsoft Build 2023, their annual developer event where they showcased the new features and experiences that would make Windows 11 the smartest operating system ever. First and foremost, we're bringing the Copilot to the largest canvas of all. The first and most interesting innovation is Windows Copilot, a built-in AI assistant that will assist you with everything you need on your PC. Windows Copilot is accessed by a taskbar button and exposes a sidebar that is uniform across your applications, programs, and windows. It serves as your personal assistant, assisting you to take action, change your settings, and connect effortlessly across your favorite applications. It is powered by Bing Chat, an AI chatbot that can answer queries and execute tasks in natural English. You may use the chat box at the bottom of the sidebar to text or talk to Windows Copilot, and it will answer with pertinent information or actions depending on what's presently on the screen. You may, for example, ask Windows Copilot to start an app, copy and paste text or pictures, snap Windows side by side, take a snapshot, check for updates, search the web, and perform a variety of other things. Also, since Windows Copilot allows plugins, you may utilize it to access functionality from third-party programs without leaving your current window. You can use plugins to book a ticket with Expedia, buy food with Uber Eats, and send an email with Outlook, or listen to music with Spotify, for example. The second topic I'd like to discuss is the new AI tools for Windows 11 developers. Microsoft hopes to enable developers to build next-generation AI-powered apps on Windows 11 by using its Azure Cloud Platform and OnX Runtime Engine. Open Neural Network Exchange, so ONX, is a standard format for describing machine learning models that may operate across several devices and platforms. With the ONX runtime, developers may execute their AI models on Windows 11 or other devices that support CPU, GPU, PU, or mixed computing. With Azure ONX runtime, you can now use the same API to run models on a device or in the cloud, allowing hybrid inferencing scenarios in which your app may utilize local resources or use Azure's capabilities depending on the context. Microsoft has also collaborated with a number of companies to enhance new AI technologies for Windows 11, including AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm. These partners have contributed drivers, libraries, and SDKs that allow developers to take advantage of the newest hardware advances and improve AI performance on Windows 11. Developers can now design great apps that leverage natural language processing, computer vision, voice recognition, and other AI capabilities to provide rich and engaging experiences to Windows 11 customers. Another intriguing enhancement is the new AI integration inside the Microsoft Store. The Microsoft Store is where you can search and download applications, games, movies, TV series, and other content for your Windows 11 device, and it's now becoming smarter with AI capabilities and experiences. The Customized Recommendations Engine, which utilizes machine learning to propose material that fits your tastes and interests based on your browsing and purchase history, is one of the new AI capabilities. You may also read ratings and reviews from other people who share your preferences. Another feature is Voice Search, which allows you to use your voice to locate what you're searching for. Simply say, show me action games or play the latest episode of The Mandalorian, and the Microsoft Store will provide the correct results or begin playing the material immediately away. It will also receive a new look that will make it more aesthetically attractive and user-friendly. The new look is more contemporary, with bigger icons, better animations, and shorter load times. It also supports dark mode, which is a feature popular among Windows 11 users. Microsoft released an update at Build 2023 concerning Windows 11 and ARM-based computers. ARM is an abbreviation for Advanced Risk Machine, which is a processing architecture that is more power-efficient and adaptable than older x86 processors. Because they provide longer battery life, faster performance, and slimmer designs, ARM-based systems are becoming increasingly prevalent in devices such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops. Microsoft has added ARM compatibility to a variety of Windows 11 applications, apps, and open-source projects. They've launched middleware projects like WinUI 3, 
React Native for Windows and Flutter for Windows, for example, to let developers create applications that can operate on both x86 and ARM platforms. Microsoft has also made it possible for applications like Visual Studio Code, PowerShell, and Edge Dev Tools to operate natively on ARM devices. In addition, Microsoft has revealed that additional products for ARM-based devices such as Adobe Photoshop Element, Autodesk Sketchbook, Unity Editor, and Minecraft Java Edition would be available soon. These applications will be added to the list of apps that already support ARM on Windows 11, including Office 365, Netflix, Spotify, and Zoom. Another update concerned the Communities feature in Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is a communication and collaboration platform that allows you to chat, phone, meet, and collaborate with your co-workers and friends. And it now has a new feature that will make it simpler to connect with individuals who share your hobbies or passions, communities. You may, for example, join a community for your favorite pastime, sport, game, or TV program. You can also start your own community and ask others to join it. Communities vary from teams in that they are more informal and open-ended, and you do not need to be a member of an organization or have a particular objective or project to join or establish one. All you need is something in common with the other members of the community. To be honest, this is a fantastic opportunity to broaden your network, acquire new skills and socialize with like-minded others. With your community members, you may communicate, exchange files, conduct polls, arrange events, and make video calls. You may also personalize your community by giving it a name, a description, a logo, and a cover picture. Microsoft Teams has added several new tools to help communities. For example, you may now accept or refuse requests to join a community, delegate authority to certain members as owners, and send posts as emails. You may also take advantage of the new connection with GroupMe, a free group messaging software that allows you to talk with anybody who has a phone number. You may now use GroupMe to create new communities or join existing ones. I'm sure you've all heard of RAR files, and until today, Windows hasn't supported them natively. To open or extract RAR files on Windows, you had to utilize third-party software or tools. However, you will soon be able to do so. Without difficulty, RAR files will be supported natively in Windows 11, which means you may open, extract, create, and change RAR files using File Explorer or the context menu. To be honest, it will make dealing with RAR files on Windows 11 a lot simpler and smoother. Okay, the final version brings long-awaited dark mode functionality for Microsoft Paint as well as enhancements to Zoom capability. Microsoft Paint is one of the oldest and most popular Windows programs. It allows you to sketch and modify simple drawings and pictures using simple tools and colors. Microsoft Paint, on the other hand, has not gotten many upgrades or changes throughout the years. However, Microsoft is now showing some love to Paint by adding dark mode support and enhancing Zoom capabilities. Dark mode is a feature that allows you to change an app's or interface's color palette from light to dark. It can minimize eye strain, preserve battery life, and make you seem more fashionable. Many Windows 11 users prefer dark mode over bright mode, and they can now do it in Paint. Paint will transition to dark mode automatically if you have it enabled in your system settings, or you may turn it on and off manually from the app settings. Paint will also gain improved zoom support, which means you'll be able to zoom in and out of your canvas using your mouse wheel or touchpad movements. As you can see, Windows 11 is becoming smarter than ever before with artificial intelligence capabilities and tools that will assist you in getting things done quicker, easier, and better. I have to agree with them that it is the most intelligent operating system ever created. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you like it. Also, let me know what you think of Windows 11 AI integration in the comments. Do you like it, or do you believe it's going in the wrong direction? What additional artificial intelligence features or enhancements would you want to see in Windows 11? I'd appreciate hearing your views and comments. Thank you for viewing, and I hope to see you in a future video.